today we're spending the day in Canterbury. This is a place that we've gotten a lot of recommendations to visit from our viewers. Uh, especially when we went to York and visited the Yorkminster, many of you told us that we needed to come to Canterbury and visit the Canterbury Cathedral, which we will do today, and also just check out a lot of the unique and interesting things that make the city so special. And we are joined by our friends, Jason and Josh. Yeah, they're <laughs> going to be our tour guides for the day. We brought the British Rain with us just for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we were hoping for that good British weather. And we've got it. It's definitely rainy. <laughs> We're starting our morning here walking along the city walls, which is just a gorgeous way to start the day. That up there is the Dane John Mound, and we're gonna hike up to it and see the views. Of course, just as we get to the top is when it starts raining pretty hard. The rain doesn't even matter. This view is gorgeous. It's got such a great view of the cathedral over there. We're gonna go over there. We sure are. <laughs> but first we'll look at it from afar. Like you wanna the take the stairs back down? <laughs> There's just a few missing. I was reading that the city walls actually have been reconstructed and I think either the 50s or the 60s, but they do go along the, the old city walls or at least part of them. And it's just incredible to come to a place that has so much history here, uh, dating back to the Romans. The sign over here is saying that the Dane John Gardens here have been used as a public space for hundreds of years. Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. We travel full time and work remotely, so a VPN is really important to us. We've been using Surfshark for over a year now, and it's seriously the best. And sometimes we need to look like we are in the US when we're accessing certain websites, and a VPN helps us do that. It's great when we're back in the States, too. If we're missing some of our favorite shows, we can just change our location to the UK, and boom, we're watching Pointless again. Or our new favorite, The Chase. A really cool thing is streaming services like Netflix have different libraries in different countries. And some streaming services don't even exist in other countries, like HBO Max, which we've been watching. And you can have all your HBO shows in one place, even in the UK. They also have amazing safety features. They encrypt your online data and help secure your personal information when you're using public Wi-Fi, which we use a lot of when we're traveling. Their clean web feature also blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, allowing you to surf the web safely. Surfshark is offering our viewers a great deal. Sign up today using the link below or use the promo code THEMAGICGEEKDOM to save 83% today and get three months for free. So make sure you sign up today so that you too can have worry-free browsing and be able to watch TV from all over the world. Thanks Surfshark. Wow, look at this building from 1573. And it almost looks like they added another layer to the top of it, it's really interesting. It looks different up there than the middle layer. I just noticed the top up there has like tiny little tiles or rocks or something. We have just been wandering the city center. Uh, now we're wandering down High Street. Just very unique architecture here. I feel like there's some really interesting buildings and just some of the materials used on them is very different from other things we've seen in the UK yeah, before. Yeah, it's like a mixture of, I mean not new, but like really old and <laughs> kind of old still. <laughs> Jason just pointed out that down here they have old dunking stalls where they used to dunk witches. So we're just looking up at the building where it's got the old doors at the top where they used to open it up and lower the goods onto the horse and cart. Oh, that's really neat. I'm glad you're here because we wouldn't have known that otherwise. <laughs> we have arrived at the West Gate. Jason and Josh were just telling us about how there's this little coffee shop made out of two phone boxes right at the West Gate. And sure enough, here it is. It's so cute. We gotta get some coffee from here. Yeah, it's really good. Just what I needed on a 
a little rainy day like today. He does not have that much space to work with, so I'm extra impressed with how good this is. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's so beautiful. I'll take that house right there. I'll, I'll buy that one. I've chosen to live here now. That's my house now. I'm claiming it. Where have you decided that we're living? And that one right there. I think it might even be a Pizza Express, but not oh, anymore. <laughs> we'll look after it while you're away. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Fair. Yeah, down for that. Fair trade off. <laughs> This coffee shop says that they have the best view from their loo of the cathedral. I mean, if I'm gonna see the cathedral from a fancy place, we should be at coffee shop's bathroom. <laughs> How many people do you think go into that coffee shop just to check out the, the claim of the good view from the toilet? Because <laughs> if we're being honest, if I didn't already get coffee, I probably would have been in there by now. That's fair. <laughs> it may have some scaffolding on it but the Canterbury Cathedral is pretty magnificent. I guess the earliest parts of the actual cathedral building date back to the 1070s, but the cathedral was established in 597 when the Roman missionaries were sent here to convert the King of Kent to Christianity. I guess it's been built onto several times, so, so some of the architecture changes, like that is a very gothic tower, but there's also some Norman architecture as well. It's just amazing how like tiny and intricate all of the sculptings are, and yet they're so old, you know? They've lasted so long. I like those little faces up there at the top. I have to say, this might be the most epic entryway I've come across in a cathedral yet. <laughs> It's probably hard to tell on video, but man, this is one of the tallest cathedrals I think we've been to yet. Wow. That one in the center there, Adam Delving. My little guide says that it dates back to 1176 and that it's one of the oldest pieces of stained glass in Britain. the most vibrant stained glass windows I've ever seen. How magnificent. It just keeps going. It's so much larger than I realized it was gonna be. I can't decide if you're cute or creepy, but I think you're cute. We just went down into something called the crypt, which is just this whole other level underneath um, that has all kinds of interesting things, even have artifacts you can look at. Um, but unfortunately they don't allow any photography or filming down there, but definitely worth visiting. The tombs here are some of the most elaborate I've ever seen. Just incredible details. Jason pointed out that some of them have dogs with them and looked it up and it looks like those were their actual dogs that are part of their tomb. Well, I'm pretty confused now because that one there has a lion at his feet, so I wonder if he had a pet lion. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. This stained glass is so close that you can kind of see just like how much grime it's accumulated over the years. Wow, this was painted in 1480. here in this area that Thomas Beckett was murdered by Henry II's Knights in 1170. Oh good, we've come back outside just in time for the rain. <laughs> I just have one question. Where does this rank in your churches and cathedrals? Top five? I don't know. <laughs> That's a rough thing to say. We've been to a lot of churches and cathedrals now. I thought it was really amazing cathedral to see. We've been to quite a few churches, minsters, cathedrals here in the UK, and that is among the best of them. It was just, there was a lot to take in, a lot of history that's happened here. I probably need to take a history class just to learn more about it, but it was very, a very amazing place to visit. I like that that sign just says a historic building of Kent. Jeremy is taller than the door. <laughs> Jeremy found his new favorite place. <laughs> favorite is strong, but fascinating. What is it? Yeah. It's a fake food store. 
so it's food you can't eat, but it looks like food. It does look delicious. We have made it to the Crooked House, which is just as cool in person as I wanted it to be. <laughs> There's even a Charles Dickens quote above the door that says, a very old house bulging out over the road, leaning forward, trying to see who is passing on the narrow pavement below. This way, it bulges out that way. It's leaning ever so slightly to the right. What a fun house. <laughs> oh man, from this angle, you can really see how crooked it is. Oh, seems appropriate that it's got a little bookshop inside. We found the crooked house. You found the cannolis. Oh yeah, definitely. There's a whole window of cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> Those do look good. Oh, there's even a, is that a pistachio one? I think so, yeah. Yum. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it looks wonderful. I didn't actually ask you guys what you thought about the cathedral. It was really cool, actually. I'm glad, I was just saying to you, I'm glad that we went in there, because we probably would never have gone in there ourselves. So having you here has made us go inside, and it's really cool. And now you can go back for a year for free. Yeah, and also, we saw a tea bag where Thomas Beckett was. <laughs> That's a joke that's in their video. <laughs> anyway, we had a really good time today in Canterbury, so thank you for suggesting it. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you use the link in the description to sign up. Thank you, Jason and Josh, for showing us around today. You're welcome. And you definitely have to come back when it's warmer and sunnier so that we can go punting on the river, yes. have ice cream in the gardens, and go skipping through the flowers. Those all sound excellent. They sound lovely, yeah, yeah so we'll definitely have to be back. If we miss anything else that you think we should do, please leave a comment and let us know. Thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.